what are your initial thoughts after hearing those? Well, obviously they sound very aggressive. You, obviously they're very graphic. Um, they're actually <laughs> in the Bible. Hey, my name is Vincent Valentine. I'm here in downtown Toronto. I'm asking some people on the street what they think about different passages I read to them from the Quran. Unknown to them though, it's actually the Bible. A few days ago, there was a video recorded in Europe that basically it did the exact same thing. So I just wanted to do the same video, but in North America to see what our perspective would be on this. And if we still think that some of these old biblical texts have any place in Western society today punish you for your sins seven times over. You will eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters. If two men are fighting and the wife of one of them comes to rescue her husband from his assailant, you shall cut off her hand. Look, here is my virgin daughter. I'll bring them out to you now and you can use them and do to them whatever you wish. But as for this man, do no such outrageous thing. A woman should learn in quietness and full submission. I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. If someone has a stubborn and rebellious son who does not obey his father and mother, then all the men of his town are to stone him to death. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after hearing those? Well, obviously they sound very aggressive. You, obviously they're very graphic. My initial thoughts, honestly, I feel a little bit numb, I guess. Like those are pretty harsh. There's no denying that. Yeah. Woman saying you can have my daughter versus the husband. You can't have the man. Mode of thinking of women um, that you know they are essentially objects. Obviously, you should take issue with things that are so hostile and so violent. Stoning human beings is not how we want to live in our society, but it does remind me of the Old Testament. A lot of the Bible passages are similar. I don't know about the cutting off of the, the hands of the woman's hands who's trying to help, but I know that there's similar passages. Yeah, it sounds familiar to the Bible. Well, to be honest, I do hear things in the Bible that sound a little bit scary sometimes too. And even in the Bible, you know, Jesus outlines how to buy and sell slaves. Like the Bible kind of tries to put us on equal levels and have our own certain roles. I think that they're kind of similar. I mean, in the Bible it's less vulgar. I do have a little surprise for you. All these heartwarming passages that I read to you today, um, they're actually in the Bible. They're actually the Bible. People, yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, I, I don't know, yeah, that. They're actually from the Bible. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised at all, actually. Oh. Do you feel like there's still a place in Western society for these old texts? Do you think that maybe we should move on from them? That's a deep question. There's something to learn from, but we shouldn't be using them as like law or, or even guidelines. Especially these days, no. Uh, all it does is pretty much divide people unnecessarily. There can be a place for religious texts, but I don't think that people should take things so literally. But at the same time, this is painted differently. Let's just ignore these passages and follow yeah. the good ones. 